Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are now about halfway through Team of the Season inside of FIFA 23, and I'm starting to get the feeling that a lot of us are starting to grow, I guess, tired or unhappy with the Team of the Season promo and how it has been run recently, especially starting with this last week of La Liga Team of the Season. So what I want to do today is kind of just do a state of FIFA video and talk through, I think personally, there are two key things that are leaving us wanting more on this game right now. I'm not going to have a rant video today. We're not going to be, you know, just talking bad and being disappointed the whole time. And then, you know, There's a lot of really good content that is out right now as well, but I think it's starting to get really repetitive too. And that's one of the things I want to cover in today's video. Now, again, like I said, it's not all going to be negative. We have upgrade packs coming today that loudly get 81 times 11, another daily icon player SBC. There are a lot of positives right now, but we're going to talk about it all in today's video. And of course, talk about the market with new tots cards the big icon sbc yesterday and fodder prices rising up ggs if you invested so a lot to cover today if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new let's talk about yesterday's content first as we always do and there's a good amount to cover first of all i want to talk about the Giorgio Chiellini SBC. Now, if you maybe remember, he had an end of an era card last year at the end of FIFA 22 that was absolutely nuts. So we know Chiellini is pretty good in game. This one's not quite as good as that card, but medium high work rates with the pace that he has, great reactions, composure, strength, jumping, really, really good looking card. Everybody likes to point out that 69 stamina and say, man, this guy is not going to be able to last the full 90 minutes. I think unless you're doing constant press or manually controlling your center backs the whole game, you probably are going to be fine with this card. And the price here is what I want to point out, especially if you want to link together. This SPC is massive. How many of you guys still have the end of an era Gareth Bale in your club and still use him as a super sub? I would be one of those. He is cracked. Now you can start him in your starting 11 if you want to with this Chiellini. I think it's a good value craft. It's only an 84 squad. It's going to be something to get done during the week pretty easily easy and if you want to run an MLS side he is there for that now along with that just really quick some words about MLS tots this team is like 6 out of 10 for me, right? Mukhtar got the massive upgrade like I expected. Almada with the 5-star skills is great. This might be one of the better Carlos Vela cards we've ever had in FIFA. 5-star skills, all the different position changes, links to Chiellini and Bale. That's an insane card. The rest of the team, though is just kind of okay. And they did upgrade the cards a little bit, but of course they had to maintain some of those lower ratings. I didn't think about like the squad battle rewards aspect. They have to have some lower rated ones in there. So um, we also had the objective Insigne as a part of MLS TOTS, which I would say compared to the uh, Gustavo that we had last week for Saudi League, I think he was better, but this card in its own right is not that bad. Kind of a FIFA legend as well, right? The Insigne being all of five foot four or whatever he is, a short king as we like to call him in the stream. Uh, he'll be pretty meta in game just because he's going to be really fast and really short. So that's kind of all the MLS tots. Maybe a player or two coming later on in the week as an SBC. We will have to see. Now, yesterday, the big piece of content that we had were the two icon SBC. Number one being the 90 plus icon upgrade. And as expected, EA re released the exact same pack and they actually made it a bit cheaper with an 83 rated squad instead of an 84. And then I think even an 80, there was an 86 last time and they made it an 85. Not entirely sure there, but this first squad is cheaper. It's about the same price, so it's a very small change. But inside of that 83 rated squad, they required an 85 rated player and guess what went to the freaking moon yesterday basically all of fodder but specifically 85s at 8 7.5k 7.k lows i guess you could call them late last night early this morning uh, they, those cards rose a crazy amount, all the way up to like 10 and a half, 11,000 coins. Now they're back down a little bit. If you sold right here, GG's. I do think fodder is going to continue to rise during the week this week. Think about it, right? We're getting daily icon player SBCs. We're going to get an 81 times 11 for La Liga today. Fodder has nowhere to go, in my opinion, but up. Specifically because not a lot of people have fodder in their clubs right now. If you're like me, your club is pretty empty. And I think that is also impacting these fodder prices. So if you bought stuff. I don't think you have to sell. The high rated cards are just kind of chilling, right? You got the new Juicy as a 91. He's the now cheapest 91 in the game. Um, you've got a new 90 rated Kai Wagner and Ferreira. So they're some of the cheapest 90 rated cards in the game, but you still have that 93 Brandt as like 50,000 coins. He is up still as a 93 rated card um, right there. So your low tier fodder, I think you're pretty safe to hold on to. I think it will go up further this week unless EA somehow figure out a way to drop some tradable supply on this game. Again, what have we seen through the past couple of weeks? 
spotter trading day to day is a really, really good thing to do. Maybe even you pick up, it sounds crazy, but maybe you pick up some uh, 85s early this morning, Monday morning at like 9,000 coins a piece. They might go back to 11 to maybe even 12,000 coins today with a new SBC coming out. That could be something you try to do today as, as well with the daily trading fluctuations on fodder. So that's kind of the fodder there. Now, one last thing in terms of SBCs, we had the Makalele Icon SBC, which has a very high upvote percentage, 200,000 coins, and it is very good value compared to where his card was on the market. Now, his card has dropped off to match the SBC price, but he was a 250K card, which was already down, I believe, from like 300K before his SBC was leaked. This is a really nice card for those that are on lower budgets and our first kind of like cheap daily icon player SBC. So that's a nice one, especially for the France uh, defensive mid links. You're heading into League One Tots where French links are going to be needed as well. So that's a decent SBC there. But I know for some people that won't quite fit their team. So that's enough talk about the content yesterday. Let's go into the meat of today's video with why does team of the season just need to be better? First of all, what I want to say is this. Now, I had my best weekend league set of rewards. We opened them on stream. I had my best rewards of the entire team of the season yesterday in this game. I got 11 wins. It did not start off pretty, but I finally got 11 wins and I got Red Modric, who's actually not that uncommon, we figured out. But I also was able to snag Kunde, which is absolutely insane. So I finally hit the jackpot from rewards. Before these two guys, my best reds were Frimpong and Harry Kane. So I was stoked with those. But man, I tell you what, I heard so many people talking this weekend and myself included. Gameplay has been absolutely shocking. And nobody has fun on FIFA when the gameplay is slow, inconsistent, and laggy. And I think this weekend, so many people were feeling that. And that definitely does not help how this game feels right now at the moment. But I mentioned as well, there. I think there's two reasons why this team of the season is starting to kind of drag. And maybe why we really just want it to be better. The content's getting a little bit repetitive, right? What do we look forward to every single week? We look forward to the Cup. We look forward to the Guaranteed Tots SBCs on Tuesday and on Wednesday. And other than that, if the player SBCs are good hype and we look to the upgrade packs like on mondays right so there is stuff that is pretty consistent every week but there's really hasn't been a lot that's been like wow or oh my goodness this is sick the coolest part of team of the season that we've had so far has been the glitched player pick from level 20 in the season progress guys i mean let's think about it right that's been the coolest part of team of the season is that this player pick was cracked about a week ago um when you know there were so few tots cards in packs to make that one good right that was kind of the biggest wow moment other than and maybe the Royce SBC that had the most hype for a player SBC during Bundesliga Tots. I think that's been our best player SBC during team of the season, right? That Royce card. So the content's getting a little bit repetitive and there hasn't been too much else to spice it up just yet. And all these SBCs, this content that is coming weekly in this game, I mean, no wonder fodder prices are going up as much as they are because, guys, we are out of fodder. Let me show you my club at the moment. I mean, I didn't buy any fodder yesterday, um, and it shows. I mean, you take a look at my club. I got a couple high rateds in here. Yeah, I think I maybe opened like an 83-plus double, so I've got a few. Oh, I opened weekend league rewards, so now I've got some fodder in here. But before I had this, my club was really, really empty before I opened my 50 and 125K packs. So bad example for my club there. But I know that you guys were telling me you're feeling this way and that my club was really bare until I got weekend league rewards. I just do not have that much fodder. And the worst thing is during the week when we have upgrade packs, we don't have good upgrades to rinse our commons into. If the simply thing they could have done to add hype to the past couple of weeks is drop an 81 plus player pick for like eight or 10 common gold cards, that would have made a world of difference on this game. Now, I know we're going to be getting more upgrade packs today, and EA is going to have a chance today to make things hype, especially with the Icon species are dropping daily. I hope this is the turning point where with the upgrades we get during team this season, I hope today the switch flips and we start to get either an upgrade pack and then along with that, the 81 plus upgrades or some sort of player pick, something else we can turn just specifically non-rares into instead of the gold upgrade packs that are good, but just not that amazing. So we need better upgrades from EA Sports. And the menu grind is really hurt by that, right? I mean, who wants to go and buy gold rares, especially when they start going upwards of prices of a thousand coins, which, you know, we talked about investing in gold rares at 650 to 700. They are starting to rise because again, these are going to be needed today for the La Liga premiums. Um, but at the same time, when the pack weight, and this is reason number two, the pack weight has been so terrible on La Liga team of the season cards 
Who's going to want to open packs? I think this game really could be in for some bad times and really could start to feel pretty dead this week. If nothing changes with the content and the pack weight stays the same. Because guys, I don't know about you, but the pack weight for these Lali Gatats cards, it is obvious that it is absolutely uh, lower than any other tots we have had released yet so many of these cards are maintaining their very high and expensive prices and i think it's purely because of the pack weight i mean a 94 griezmann i tweeted out yesterday this card is still three million coins i mean if you think about it how much have these cards dropped off during the weekend compared to some of the bundesliga and the premier league tots cards after they were first released they really have not dropped off that much compared to where these guys were. And Kunku was 11 mil day one and two. He went to eight mil and then he went all the way down to five by like Monday or Tuesday. These La Liga cards have started expensive. You know, I mean, yeah, Lewandowski has dropped from a million to 740 and, um, Pedri has dropped from a crazy high price of 2 million down to 1.6. War a drop, right? But you still have Griezmann, Benzema, Vinny. Kunde has been a million coins the whole entire time. I even think he is still overpriced. Something's got to change this week with the pack weight. EA needs to turn it up a little bit because if it's going to stay this rare these cards are going to stay this unpackable throughout the whole entire week people are going to get bored and not want to log on to fifa because it's not going to seem worth it to open up great packs and i really want to grind up great packs this week guys i would love to feel like i have a chance at packing a Lewandowski or feel like i have a chance at packing even somebody on the lower tier like i still need a ter Stegen for my club or a merino or um you know Llorente is not anywhere near low tier but we want to have a chance at packing these really cool La Liga team of the season cards and if we're not having that that's going to make this game feel a lot less hype in its own right and I don't understand why this team is so much more tough to pack than Premier League and even the Bundesliga was from last week so I'm not sitting here and trying to rant all day long again I just feel like it's those two things that are making tots a little bit lackluster right now you can even look at the market and look at meta player prices from other teams they're starting to go up you know the Bundesliga tots cards went up a bit some Premier League cards are rising Harry Kane's like 180,000 coins Saliba is at a new all-time high above 300,000 coins. Ruben Diaz was up a lot. He's down a little bit now, but like guys like Varane, Saka, Martinelli, they're starting to creep up in price because people are going and buying these instead of the brand new cards because the weight is just not there. And these cards are just so freaking expensive. So I hope that changes today. And I think there's potential for it to change there, right? What are we talking about for the content today? We're talking about SBCs. We're talking about multiple new SBCs and also daily icon SBCs. So it's not really saying the content is bad. I feel like the content's just coasting. And I want to hear you guys' comments. Drop them down below. How are you feeling? Do you agree with this? Do you not agree with this? You're like, Nate, how can you complain about this content, bro, when you got two of the most insane red pulls you've seen in the past couple of days for Weekend League? I know. I'm truly not complaining. I am just saying I'm feeling a lot of this negativity. I feel a little bit of it myself. And I think we just want more. Team of the Season is supposed to be insane. And it has been good. It just has not, like, you know, it hasn't hit that little bit of extra just juiced feeling to it or like super amazing, like, wow, I got to be on FIFA right now, right? It's just been like good. So I'll hopefully take it to another level today. Hopefully EA takes it to another level today with this game. Let's look forward into that because, of course, like we mentioned, the La Liga upgrades, right? The eight rare La Liga gold players packs stock the gold rares. They're still 700. Again, I don't think these are going to go up a lot today. I really don't. I know we talked about it on the weekend. It's good to get stocked up. And if you bought these at 650 on bid, you're probably going to be able to sell them for, I don't know, I could see these guys going all the way up to like 850, 900. If the pack weight turns up and people start hitting blues and word gets around, these gold rares might end up being a thousand coins by the time we hit Wednesday or Thursday. Don't expect it, but you could get some lazy sales there as well. Then the 81 times 11 La Liga pack, I think would be the pack that'd be very, very interesting. That's going to be dropping today inside of the SBCs as well. So I would I would imagine probably an 83 and an 85 squad, maybe an 82 and an 85 squad. I hope they don't make it expensive since this team is so freaking expensive. Hopefully it's not like 84, 85. If they do something like that today, um, it would make sense, but also it would suck. So hopefully they do not do that. But that's another reason to maybe do a little bit of a club stock on this. I mean, 84s are back down under 4,000 coins. That's actually a really good price because yesterday they were 4.5K, I think. 4.8, 4.9. And these guys were 3.3 .3 to 3.4 last night. Actually, 84s are an immense club stock right now uh, because they're back down to the same price they were. 83s as well. I would stock the club with those. And 82s even. Um, 
uh, because of those SBCs that are upcoming uh, on this game today, specifically that 81 times 11. Now, we're talking about daily icon SBCs too, right? And it is nice that we have icon SBCs of all different levels. We've got a really expensive Dino that some people are going after. We've got a middly, kind of middle of the road uh, Pushkas card, which is really cracked. Bit expensive still, million coins, 1.1. And then a Makalele that's down in the 200k range. I like that EA is kind of giving us SBCs for all different budgets. That is very nice. Today, the only other leaked card that we have is this Kuman card. I think he would maybe be dropping today since the only other leak that we have. But we still got a bunch of days throughout the rest of this week for Icon Player SBCs that we don't know much about. And we haven't had many leaks recently, which I think is very interesting. Maybe we'll get some more info on leaks and uh, cards that are going to be coming out, whether it's like a De Young flashback. Like, that's the kind of content, just to go back onto our conversation here, that's the kind of SBC that would bring some hype to this game. If they dropped a Frankie De Young flashback SBC with a big juice, and we're talking like a 93 rated, 94 rated Frankie De Young, and we're talking like 90 pace, uh, 80 shooting, really high dribbling and passing, mid to high 80s defense and physical. And yeah, you know what? You can make it 500k because yeah, there's a lot of great midfielders already that are in La Liga team of the season. But a lot of people wanted to see De Young or like Usman Dembele in this tot side. That would be the type of SBC that could bring some hype back to the menus, to the craft. Uh, but like again, if there's not SBCs that we can use to do upgrade packs to craft those really easily too. That's also a bit of a bummer. So we need like a player SBC like a De Jong and we need an 81 plus player pick or some sort of other upgrade pack. And that would really help things kick off today. Now, we mentioned the Kuman that's probably going to be dropping today as well. Other thing I want to mention is store packs, man. Where's those icon store packs? That even might be a little bit of the reason why some people are feeling down in this game right now is because um, we haven't still seen that icon cheer pack. Wow, what a pack right there. Tots alone player W. Um, we haven't seen the icon cheer yet pack or like the massive one there's two different of those packs and we still have not seen them yet so maybe those are coming during the week this week maybe they're not coming at all yet so i really have no idea what to expect for those um so watch the store today but i do think it could be amazon prime pack day as well because that pack was added to the code and that could be some well and very needed fodder uh, today if you have amazon prime or twitch prime you get a free pack. I'll put the link to that pack down below into the description where you can see where it will actually be uh, redeemable and claimable if it does drop. It should drop here in the next two weeks. So that'll be down in the description there. And let's talk market, right? Because as we mentioned, the La Liga Tots cards are very expensive. Now, as I said in last week's video, I'm not touching these cards until at least Wednesday. All right. I'm not touching these guys until at least Wednesday. I think they some of them could go up a little bit today. I was just checking out Lewandowski. He was about 730k, 720 on undercuts, and I should have picked him up there because he is starting to rise. He's had some really good fluctuations. Same thing with like Modric, Balde. I picked up a couple of um, Baldes actually at um, 150k and below, like 148, 149, and he's starting to go back up a little bit. He had a decent rise yesterday, and I just feel like this is a card that a lot of people may need. With their cup squad today. That's kind of where I'm thinking the low tier today. People transitioning from playing weekend league, more people getting into the cup um, to grind that during the week. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye there on that card. If I sell those today, which I will, I will sell those before the content drop today, before the 81 times 11, before the upgrade packs are released. Now, I also picked up some Fakirs. And guys, my biggest tip right now would be get on the bids because if the game right now is losing a bit of steam, and people are not having as much fun on the game at the moment, get on bids because I won like four or five of these Fakirs at 30,000 coins flat, which is the lowest that he has been. I got them with chemistry styles as well. 30K, you know, 3250, like those cards right there. I'm looking to sell Fakir for hopefully like around, I don't know, Lazies at 40,000 coins, maybe like 38 to 39K uh, today on a Monday morning. I do think we'll see a slight market rise. And again, what I'm, what I'm buying here is I'm only buying these cards with the chemistry styles as well. Like this one, 30K flat was basic. Probably not going to buy that one because the cards with the chemistry styles on this low tier just sell better so watch guys like molina watch guys like the gabri viega today but again i'm gonna be selling these cards before the content drop today on this game to not risk it at all and then at the same time i've picked up some of the mls tots cards because i love flipping the brand new tots cards into monday mornings mukhtar yesterday was a huge flip for me 
Um, we bought Mukhtar on stream after he had already gone up. We bought him at like 440, 450, and we got him in the rarity spike because he was brand new. He went all the way up to like 700K. We undercut at 620, made a big profit and a big flip there. Also bought a Pedri for 155, sold it for 167. So that was a good flip. So I picked up a couple of Mukhtars at 400 flat. As you can see, he's like 450K. Hoping he goes up a little bit more today. And then I do have a couple of Carlitos Vela as well for under 220 and he's rising a little bit so i've got some cards at the moment on my transfer list uh that i think i think the market will do okay starting out for today some people maybe want to wake up and try these brand new tots cards because they do look nice i mean i would want to do that i mean vela looks cracked yeah so with 240 we're up a good amount on him i'm probably going to sell those today before the content drop just to get them out and to be safe um, but hopefully we see them rise up a bit more. I mean, I'll probably wait until like an hour before the content drop to be selling these guys because on Mondays, usually the market does pretty good on the current TOTS cards uh, that are in packs and because um, people want to go on the game and they, and they try them out. But again, I'm going to be totally clear of that stuff um, by the content time today because I don't want to mess with it. And then also, I still have some of my... Is this the right card design? Yeah, Road to the Finals Atal. I still have my League One specials, and some of these guys started to boom yesterday. Atal, 65K. He was 50K. That's where I was buying him at, so we are in the big money there. I do have a couple of Renato Sanchez. I think it is, you know, it's kind of too late. If you wanted to buy uh, League One special cards, I think it's a little bit late. They are going up. They are flying, actually, in price. And if you want to be really, really early, I know it sounds really weird and, and dumb, and you're like, Nate, do I really want to do this? If you want to go for it, you could even start to look at Serie A special cards because, again, a lot of people I think are a bit confused. And I tweeted this out yesterday, and I want to bring this up on the stream today too. Serie A is not the next league. It is League One. If you're a little bit confused, I know we had a Serie A vote, but there's no vote for League One. This Friday is League One, and the week after that, the first week of June, is Serie A team of the season. But if you want to look all the way ahead to Serie A tots, you could start to make some really low tier. I'm talking low tier, like cards that are under 20k that are still that are still pretty meta. Like you know, Inform Rafael Leao is one that I think of um, that might be a card that rises up a decent amount heading into Serie A tots, uh, just because it's a Rafael Leao special card. You you know, people would want to use him in the cup and stuff like that. So. That type of card you could maybe start to look at, only the low tier though, and that would be an investment that you'd have to hold for like a week or maybe even a little bit longer than that. Um, and it could go down because we could have good content this week and you never know, but that's something to kind of look at ahead of time. I'll probably be selling my League One specials as we get closer towards the end of the week still because the hype for leaks and stuff like that will continue to get th people thinking about League One and start to build that hype there. So hopefully today on Monday, EA bring the content back around with good upgrade packs, multiple multiple upgrade packs, and we get some better player SBCs cooking. Again, let me know in the comments what you think about the state of FIFA right now, the gameplay, the menus, the content, all that good stuff, especially as it relates to the team this season. But if you enjoyed this video today, drop a thumbs up on it, and of course, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys on the Twitch stream today. Have a good one. Good start to the week. See you guys in the stream. It's been Nathan Account, and catch you guys there. Peace. Out.